So Fitch has been arrested in this case, Matt, but he has yet to be formally charged by the district attorney. There's still time in that process to do so. But neighbors tell me, get this, this isn't actually the first time that Fitch has been targeted for theft. I literally just woke up to the shots. I got three, I heard three shots. Impact. A jarring wake up for people who live on Jasmine Street in Denver Friday morning. Wonder if it was like fireworks or something. Denver police say a group of people were trying to steal Bryce Fitch's truck when he fired shots. Later that day, Aurora police found a man dead in this car. Fitch has been arrested in the case. That's not the sort of thing that happens in this neighborhood. It's very concerning. After talking to witnesses, we're getting a better idea of what happened. Fitch's roommate tells me he was getting out to go to work around 4 a.m. Friday morning when he saw three people trying to break into his truck here. He went inside to get his gun, came out and tried to scare him off. That's when witnesses say the three suspects ran across the street, got in their car, and hit Fitch on the way out. That's when his roommate says Fitch turned and fired three shots. I've, I've lived in this neighborhood for 17 years, and nothing like that has ever happened before. People close to Fitch say he went to the hospital to be treated for injuries. We're still waiting for the Denver medical examiner to ID the man who died. So we were wondering if the Make My Day law would apply to this case. The law allows Colorado gun owners to shoot intruders. But again, based on what witnesses tell me, the shooting happened out in the street. So that law wouldn't really apply. It pretty much ends at your front door of your home.